In this video, I want to explain to you about how to derive quadratic formula by completing a square. As we know, the quadratic equation in the standard form, that will be ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. And we know the teacher taught us from school that we can solve this equation by using the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is our discussion today. We need to know where this formula comes from by using completing the square on this equation. So the first step that we need to do is we need to make sure that the coefficient of x squared equals to one. So we divide everything by eight, both sides. So the first step is x squared plus b divided by a, so b over a times x plus c over a equals to zero. And then the next step is we need to subtract by the constant term both side. So the constant term on this equation is c over a. So we need to subtract by c over a both side. So that will be x squared plus b over a times x, and then equals to minus c over a. This one is zero, so it's gone. <clears throat> And then the next step is for the completing the square, we need to take half of the x term coefficient. So the x term coefficient is b over a. Half of b over a is, so half of b over a is basically b over 2a. And then if we square this, it will be b squared over 4a squared. So we add by this quantity, b squared over 4a squared, both sides of the equation. So in here, we plus by b squared over 4a squared. And then here, we also plus by b squared over 4a squared. So the next step is we need to factorize on the left side into perfect square. So the fastest way to do this is you just memorize the format. The format is you make it a bracket like this and close bracket. You put the square and you put X in here. So just remember this structure, okay? And then what after the X is basically here inside the bracket, you just rewrite in here again. So B over 2A, this is positive. So plus B over 2A. Well, basically plus is from here. So if this is plus, then it's plus, okay? And then this one is from earlier in what you calculated to, uh, before you square this, b over 2a. And then equals to minus c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. After we factorize the left side into perfect square, what we need to do is we simplify the right side of the equation. So we need to make the same denominator. So on step four, x plus b over two a close bracket square equals two, because this is four a square and this is a. So to make the same denominator, we need to multiply this by four a over four a. So minus c over a, we multiply by four a over 4a, and then plus b squared over 4a squared. And it's gonna be x plus b over 2a, bracket square equals to minus four times a times c, so we just write minus 4ac over 4a squared, plus b squared over 4a squared. Now, once we have the same denominator, we just add the top. So this equals to x, this one x plus b over 2a square. And the right side is b square plus this one. So just write minus 4ac over 4a square. Now, after this, our goal is 
we need to isolate X in one side, right? Just like this one here, X on the left side. So what we need to do is that before we isolate X on the left side, we need to take square root both sides to make the square here gone, okay? So we square root both sides. That's for the next step. So here, step six, it's gonna be this one and this one square is cancel out. So it's gonna be X plus B over two A equals two. Now here, if you take square root both sides, it's gonna be plus and minus. So just in case, if you don't know, it's gonna be plus minus. So take a look at this example. If you have X squared equals to nine, so x can be plus three or minus three, right? Because if we try x uh, three square, this is nine. And we also can try minus three square. This is minus three times minus three. And we know minus times minus is positive. So this is positive nine. So it can be two answer, either three or minus three. So that's why when we take square root both sides, don't forget to put plus and minus outside the square root on the right side. So plus and minus square root of B squared minus four AC over four A squared. Now the next step we know if we have square root of A over B, for example, we can separate the top and bottom. So we take the square root of A over square root of B. So we can do this principle. So equals two plus and minus, oh, sorry. So X plus B over two A plus and minus the square root of B squared minus four AC over the square root of four A squared. Now four is the perfect square. The square root of four is two and the square root of A squared is A. So this X plus B over two A equals two plus and minus square root of B square minus four AC over square root of four is two. And then square root of A square is just A. So this like this square root of four A square is equals to, we can do it separately. Since this is multiplication between four and A square. So we can do like square root of four times square root of A square. And this is two times a squared. So this is a. And then x equals two. So this is plus b over two a. We need to make it gone. So we need to subtract by b over two a both side. So subtract by b over two a on the both side of the equation. So it's gonna be x equals two minus b over two a and then plus and minus the square root of B squared minus four AC over two A. Now we know if you have fraction with the same denominator, we can just add the top, right? So X equals two, just write this like this over two A and then minus B plus and minus square root of B squared minus four AC. Now this is the quadratic formula that we want. Hope this video will help you to understand why this quadratic formula is like this. It's from completing the square.